Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. I've been having unusual channelings regarding gnomes and brownies and like that lately. Graduating to dwarves and orcs and beings of that nature. And uh, so it was with less surprise than priorly that I was in the um, gas station yesterday and um, it's broad daylight, right? And I just casually asked if there were any gnomes about. I was wondering. And from underneath my car at the aisle where you pump the gas, I heard, I'm, in, I'm under here. <laughs> and so I said to myself, this couldn't possibly be true because my car will be gone in a moment. And so I said to the voice under the car, I said, are you a gnome? It said, yes. I said, but my car will be gone in a moment. And it said, that's okay. I said, well, where, where will you go when my car is gone? Because they like uh, dark, low spaces, right? It said, to the other car on the other side. I said, but you'd have to be moving all day long. And, <laughs> and the gnome said, um, that's okay, it's worth it. Very low voice, so that's okay, it's worth it. And um, I could only deduce from that that maybe it liked the, the whizzing sound of the cars as they arrived and departed from the gas dispensing aisle outside the gas station. <laughs> I'll get you a photograph of the location the location preferred by that particular gas station gnome. So here's the car, and here is the aisle where the gas is pumped, and over here is where another car would be. And what it was was the gnome. The gnome was underneath of this car, hiding underneath of that car there. And then when the car would go, it would zip out, it said, and go over to the other car over here, like that. From one side, zipping across the aisle to the other side. You can also see here that it's kind of airy underneath the car, and there's all that motor noise that gnomes like. So they like the air under the car, the whizzing of the cars by, and the motor noise.